Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has given initial approval to a ceasefire deal with Hezbollah, a source told CNN, marking a significant step toward ending weeks of violent confrontations along the Israel-Lebanon border. The decision was made during a high-level security consultation with Israeli officials late Sunday. The Israeli Security Cabinet is expected to convene on Monday to deliberate further and provide formal authorization for the deal. While the agreement signifies progress, Israeli officials reportedly still have reservations about key aspects, which are likely to be addressed with Lebanese representatives after the Cabinet meeting. Negotiations over the final terms of the deal remain ongoing. According to CNN, sources close to the talks have described them as promising, but cautioned that tensions on the ground could jeopardize the fragile progress. The deal, brokered with US mediation, aims for a 60-day cessation of hostilities, potentially setting the stage for longer-term peace. U.S. envoy Amos Hochstein, a central figure in the negotiations, expressed optimism during his visit to Beirut last week, saying the ceasefire was within grasp. Hochstein met with Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mekati and Parliament Speaker Nabi Berri, Hezbollah's main negotiator, describing the discussions as constructive and very good. The US State Department also said ceasefire negotiations between Israel and Hezbollah made significant progress. What I'd say is we have made significant progress with uh, uh, getting towards a resolution that includes progress from where we were when I spoke to this last week, but we're not done yet. Nothing is final until everything is final. We continue to work to try and get an agreement over the line. Uh, and we're hopeful we can get one, but uh, we need both of the parties to, to get to yes. The proposal has garnered a positive response from Beirut, with Mikati confirming that much of the draft agreement had been resolved. However, Axios reported on Sunday that Hochstein had warned Israel's ambassador to Washington that US mediation would be withdrawn if Israel failed to respond favorably in the coming days. The conflict, which erupted in mid-September, intensified after Hezbollah launched attacks on Israeli-controlled territory in October, in solidarity with Hamas amid the Gaza conflict. Israel responded with a large-scale military campaign, including ground invasions and targeted strikes that eliminated key Hezbollah leaders. The fighting has left scores of casualties on both sides. Despite the violence, Hochstein remains hopeful that the ceasefire agreement, if approved, could offer a path to de-escalation in the region. For now, all eyes are on Monday's Israeli cabinet meeting where the deal's fate will be decided.